Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello, 52 Super Luigi here. And today, we're going to talk about my top five games that are unfair. Let's start with a DS game. Mario Party DS. It's so, so, so fucking unfair. Let's start with the fact that if you guys have ever played it, the comms can put their hexes, you know those little purple circle space things you can put on the spaces? Hexes, you know. Minus two stars, coin block, star block, you know those things? My kitty. But seriously, this piece of shit allows comms to put it wherever the fuck- They could be all the way at the fucking start! All the way at the fucking start point! And they could put it all the way at the top of the- that's fucked up. We can only put like four or five spaces ahead of us. That's fucked up, Nintendo. That's fucked up. Okay? That's unfair. That is fucked. Alright? And... That's basically the only unfair thing in this game I can think of. Other than that, it's a good game. Good game. Unless your L button's broken, you need to fix your DS's because their L buttons always give out after a good four months and then when you get a mini game which there's a lot of mini games with the L button I gotta hope to god I don't get them and luckily I don't but when I do it fucking sucks Nintendo fix the L problem moving on now you saw this in my top five worst games now what's unfair about M Call of Duty Modern Warfare is that you can't crouch you can't dive, and the way you die in this is fucking retarded. That's just the bottom line here. And a true fan of Call of Duty, it's unfair that this didn't have zombies in it either. Now, I know Black Ops was the last of the zombies and all that bullshit, but, I mean, come on. Special Ops, you could have come up with something better than that, guys. Uh, number... The Grudge, Joe on the Grudge. As a Grudge fan, this really, really, really pissed me off because there's only five fucking levels in this game? How can you even consider this a fucking game, Nintendo? I know you're the only one that has made this because I didn't see Joe on the Grudge for PlayStation or Xbox. It's a Wii game. So, Nintendo. You. What the fuck? Five levels, that's it? Then when you beat. I beat the game one day! And they're not even that long, most of them. Five fucking levels! Should have made it where it went on to another family or something. Or their friends, or what the fuck? Make it longer. This game scared the shit out of me, but now because I beat it, I know what happens in those five levels. So what's the point of playing it? Thanks a lot, Nintendo, for a waste of my fucking money. That's unfair. Moving on to four. Now, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Call of Duty Black Ops. But back to you, Nintendo. Back to fucking you, you lazy piece of shit. Let's start with this. The Xbox version, you could play multiplayer on the system with your friends. The PlayStation version, you could play on the system with your friends. The Wii version, you need online to play with people. Because you fucking assholes are too lazy to fucking make it where we could play on the system together. So the only time we could play with other players is if we have online. Fuck you, Nintendo. Fuck you. That's so unfair. That's more unfair than all these other games put together. That is messed up, okay? That is really messed up. Really messed up. Because some people, their parents, or them, don't have enough money to get Wi-Fi. Nintendo, come on. It's one thing to verse people online, but... when You, you want to verse friends on the system, too? But you can only do it online with the Wii version. That's fucking gay. Nintendo. Really? That's the unfair part about Call of Duty Black Ops. 
But the good thing about the Nintendo version is that they kick hackers, unlike PlayStation and uh, Xbox. They let hackers in there. So uh, they both have their up and downs, but Nintendo, really. The multiplayer, only online, that's bullshit. Moving on to the final and number five. The Sims 3. More about that multiplayer shit. Video game makers. Nintendo, we, Nintendo, you seem to have this problem more than anybody, and I'm a Nintendo fan. You're fucking killing me here. You're gonna lose me, I swear to God you are. You guys are making too much of these multi multiplayer mistakes. More multiplayers. Because once a player beats the game, what are they supposed to do afterwards if there's no multiplayer? Brawl, at least when you beat the story, you can just fuck around with your friends. Like, come on, man. But this, and The Sims 2 before this game? Which was for the PlayStation, by the way. Nintendo. Um, Sony, with their PlayStation 2 version... Even their PlayStation, I mean, even their The Sims 3, their multiplayer, you could play with each other and live in the same house together and talk to each other and shit. In your fucking version, you fucked up this version of Call of Duty with the multiplayer, and then you fucked up the multiplayer with this too, Nintendo. It's one thing. When it comes to Mario games, and your characters like Link and shit, you don't fuck up with those with multiplayer and the story and all that. But when it's a game that you just like licensed, like a game that all systems make, like The Sims and Call of Duty games, you fuck your version up. Why is that? Because Mario or none of them are in there, you, you just say fuck it? Might as well not make it. Okay? This was disappointing, because I didn't even know multiplayer was going to suck when I tried it at my friend's house. All it is, guys, seriously, for the Wii version, is that you uh, just make your sims, and then it shows their faces, and you just fucking do pick stuff, and then it tells your story. This ain't no fucking quiz. I want to see my person walking around with my, my friend's person in a house like the last one. That is unfair, man. That's pretty much all I have to say about unfair games. Now, it ain't just Nintendo, okay? PlayStation and Xbox, they have unfair games as well, okay? Yeah, they do. Nobody's perfect, but I swear to God, everybody needs to fix their shit up. Like, like PlayStation, I know you and Nintendo used to be tight, but copying Brawl, Guys, guys. <sighs> and as for Xbox, personally, you guys suck. The only good game you got going for you is two. Gears of War and Halo. You can't count Assassin's Creed because that's for all systems. I'm talking about Xbox's own games. Only Halo and Gears of War. All the other ones suck. And that fucking pet one you came up with, Bears and Cats? What the fuck do we look like? Are you kidding me? Xbox. Get a life. Okay? PlayStation and Nintendo are whooping your ass, and you're still making retarded games, and you still have the Red Ring of Death. You need to fix that, too. Because you wanted to rush and get your system out before the competition. Well, guess what? That's what happens. You fucked it up. So, that's unfair to Xbox players. Even though, personally, I can't stand Xbox. I've owned Playstations and I've owned Nintendo systems. I've never owned an Xbox and I never fucking will. Xbox sucks. So, without that to do, I bid you well.